Wagner based his great opera Tristan and Isolde on the German epic poem about Tristan, and he wrote it over a period of years during which he himself was living in exile uh, in Switzerland and having a passionate affair with a married woman called Mathilde von Wesendonck. Tristan is the nephew of King Marker of Cornwall, and he's been sent to bring King Marker's bride, Isolde, back to Cornwall from Ireland. But Tristan and Isolde have met before, when Tristan was wounded in a fight with Morold, who was supposedly Isolde's first fiancé, and killed Morold. Wounded by Morold, Tristan went to Isolde to have his head wound cured. She took a piece of steel from it and matched it to the sword that Morold had had and realised that it was Tristan who'd killed her husband and was about to kill Tristan himself when he looked up at her with such a loving glance that she fell in love with him instead. Now on the ship, Tristan and Isolde are bickering about their history and Brangaena, Isolde's maid, brings a case containing a love potion and a death potion. Tristan and Isolde decide to swallow the death potion in order to get rid of the problems of life, but Brangaena has put the love potion there instead and they drink it and their love is reaffirmed. Once Isolde and Marker have married, Tristan continues his love affair with Isolde and when Marker pretends to go off hunting, Tristan and Isolde conduct a great love scene. The whole of Act Two is filled with this marvellous love duet music. But Marker comes back and catches the lovers in flagrante and sings of his grief and heartbreak that his nephew and his beloved have betrayed him in this way. Tristan is wounded in a fight and taken back to his own kingdom of Cariol by his faithful servant Corvenal, and he lies there dying, waiting for Isolde to come and either to cure him or at least to bid him farewell. In the third act, we hear poor Tristan lamenting of his pain and waiting for Isolde's arrival. Isolde eventually does arrive, but only in time for Tristan to breathe his last and die in her arms. <laughs> 